So this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising weekly career and uh, business tarot reading, December twenty third a uh, to December twenty ninth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and if you guys want to get in touch with me for a private reading, or uh, you want to check your love and relationship tarot reading for that very same week, uh, you can check the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find both links um, to my website and as well to the other Aquarius video for the week. So the first card here, which stands as a topic of your career and business um, week, that is going to be the Hierophant. Followed by the next one, which represents uh, the energies feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the energy of the Tree of uh, Swords. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the Five of Swords, followed by the fourth one that stands as the gifts and the blessings you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Three of Cups, followed by the, four, by the fifth one, which is how other people see you, your co-workers, your boss and your supervisor, that is going to be, or your partner in business, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. Afterwards, uh, we do have what is going to help your long-term career and business goals. That will be the Hierophant, the Hermit, excuse me, followed by the seventh one, which stands as what is going to hurt your long-term and career goals. That will be the Page of Wands. And the last one, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, uh, Aquarius. That will be the uh, High Priestess. So... Well, with the first two cards, which are the topic and the energy supporting the topic, it looks like that you're going to find the hard way that there are simply things that they are as they are. And there is no changing those things, career and business wise. I mean, therefore, you won't be able to cut any corners. You won't be able to be the smart as there. You won't be able to uh, simply, you know, um, play the situation out, but rather you have to subordinate to the situation out. Now on the plus side, it does look like that with those two cards, whatever crisis, if at all you are going through right now, the, the bigger the crisis is, the better you become. So it's uh, these two cards are pointing that you are going to make most ex exceptional performance career and business wise when you find yourself with your back against the wall with those cards. Um, furthermore, it does look like that also your, how can I say it? Mm. Your common sense is going to speak that if you if you want to uh, achieve certain results career and business wise uh, you can't simply wait them to happen out of nowhere and miracles in general to happen but uh, everything will be decided or the results you want are going to be decided on how well and how much you perform in there so you want something you start working for it otherwise it's not going to be yours at all now, additionally to that, with those cards, it looks like that you are also going to uh, have to face a lot of criticism. But that's uh, because we do have the Hierophant in the first place. It looks like to be rather more friendly kind of a criticism than a obstructive kind of a criticism. What I mean is that from co-workers or from supervisor or from your boss even, you may hear if you do that again, you know, you're going to get in trouble, but I'm going to forgive you right now and you know next time you got to do this this and this okay so that kind of a criticism which uh, it will be directed as such as a criticism but in reality it will serve you as a benevolent uh, support as well uh, also one last thing about these two cards guys career and business wise it is that you are going to sense troubles and uh, predicaments or you're going to sense why those predicaments are and um, by that by identifying the cause of the trouble and of the plight uh, it's also very plausible that you're going to find solutions to it as well so the other card points to the challenges you need to overcome. This is the Five of Swords and it refers to the criticism. 
and you're not going to handle it very well with the five of swords here uh, you will basically you will think that it's kind of unjust but uh, this resides in the challenge itself and the challenge points that you are going to be challenged to understand your limitations and your capabilities. Not personal, but situational right now. I mean, the situation does not allow you to exceed uh, or to, yeah, to, let's say, to suffuse it with your full limits. And that being said, you may have to underperform according to your own personal standards and the other um, the other challenge it is that you have to face bullying in a sense of that uh, you know demands for example your boss tells you you're gonna do it period you're gonna do it the way I say it period and you have to do it or you have to quit your job uh, the other card, it represents the gifts and the blessings, and that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Three of Cups. Career-wise and business-wise, this is a very potent card saying that you are going to have immediate results based on your performance. Okay, So as soon as you start working for something, it will start manifesting itself. Maybe not in its full extent, but you are very, very quickly see its worth, that it is worth it, excuse me, and the very initial uh, products of your labor. And afterwards, um, this, this card points that you are going to be gifted and blessed with the... Uh, uh, a common help. I mean, your co-workers will want to help you. Everybody around you really will want to help you seeing that the situation you are finding yourself at, it's kind of like, uh, it's not a situation that any, uh, that, uh, how can I say it? Um, that you deserve better, I would say it that way. And everybody will try to help you um, with everything that they can because they share the vision, uh, your vision for your future career development of that you do deserve more and you work for more. So it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not pity that people are going to feel. They will feel that you haven't found or they will, yeah, they will feel that you do haven't found potential and through their help, you unfold that potential and everybody wins at the end. So the other card it is how other people are going to see you. Um, that being said, your business partners, colleagues, and so on and so forth, boss, supervisor, etc. So we do have the Ace of Wands. People are going to see you as a, a weapon, okay? The right weapon, the right tool for their means. Very good card. Your boss see you as the right weapon for their needs and their means. Okay, the means for their needs. So that means that your boss sees you as a valuable asset, as a unpolished stone, unpolished diamond that needs to be polished. And eventually, once again, everybody wins. Additionally to that, um, your boss and your partner are going to see uh, that you can um, actually do more than you are signing for. And for that reason, you can't expect further um, these children, man. Uh, you can expect further in the future to have some proposition for a promotion, reassignments, um, and, uh, and in generally to take on more responsibilities. The other card here represents on what is going to help your long term goal. That is the, ha the Hermit card. So first of all, your intelligence and your wisdom should not be neglected here. I mean, you have to believe into your intelligence and into your wisdom. Throughout that, uh, what is substantial for your current career development is to be revealed. Or in generally, this card says that whatever job you're working right now, that is the substantial job. This is your milestone. This is the, tr the trampling that propels you forward and you should not lightly consider departing from it at all. The other card uh, here is going to describe what uh, is going to hurt your long-term goals and we are having a, a person who gives you very bad example. Now these people, the page of wands, they are very insubordinate uh, in the sense of that that may be a co colleague of yours that always does the opposite 
than what he was uh, than what uh, he is told to do and it seems that how can i say it and it, 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 these are people that think that they or given an impression they always knows better and can do more these are usually people that always present themselves very um undervalued in a sense of that if if, uh, if it is not for them, the company is going to bankrupt. And if not for them, the work is not going to be done. If it is not for them, you know, nothing is going to move on forward. The business ain't going to move on forward. So these are ordinary, co ordinary workers in the company that have the impression that the company runs because they are a part of it. Okay. And they give a very bad example, very bad ideas. These are not the ways how you should move on forward. Like I said, this week is all about subordination. This week it is all about you follow the rules of the company and the business you are part of if you want to move forward as the business move forwards. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. That is the... Um, High Priestess, business-wise, High Priestess, it kind of refers to a passive standpoint that you just do your job, nothing more, nothing less. You just do what you have signed for, do it the way you are, you are, expected, you are expected to do it. And um, like I said, you have already made an impression that you can sign for much more. Maybe right now the business or the company you're working for does not have the prerequisites to do it, but they have you in mind. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly uh, career and business title reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, uh, if you are interested in a private reading or you want to check your love and relationship title reading for that very same week, December 23rd to December 29th, you can have a look at the description down below in this video. And there you're going to find a link to my website and as well to the other video of the week for you, Aquarius. And I uh, hope we're going to see each other around. Until then... Bye.